16.5 meters per second. Hey, what's going on, guys? Clucks here, back with another video on my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you on how to use pitch and roll in Echo VR and how to implement it into your play style. Before we get started, please consider leaving a like on this video and please subscribe. I'll reply to every single person who comments I subscribed. Now that any more distractions, let's get Now, if you don't know what pitch and roll is, it's a setting you can enable that allows you to either do a barrel roll type movement like this, or just a simple front flip or back flip. You can even combine these settings to enable some kind of quirk motion, like so. Alright, a big reason why people like to use pitch and roll is to get better jukes. You can like move around objects better, trick people out. It's much harder to grab somebody who's spinning and doing flips than somebody who's just going straight normally, doing absolutely nothing. Um, and to get a, an advantage in the playing field, so getting better angles on the goal and stuff. For example, if you're trying to hit a mail slot and you shoot overhand, it's much harder to hit because you have really any space but if you were to angle yourself sideways much more room pitch and roll also helps to get better angles on clears so if i want to clear there it might be easier to go like sideways first and then clear it or if a block is covering my field of view i can pitch it to different angles of it and it helps me get around them better Plenty of different uses for it, but they're very subtle uses to be honest, but... Alright, first I'll teach you how to enable pitch and roll. So you gotta go on, hold down your left menu button with the three lines. And it'll bring up a menu, right? So then you go settings. Scroll through it until you can find... Until you find gameplay one out of two. Enable yaw because that's just normal turning side to side. Pitch, which is the flipping, and roll, which is the rolling. <laughs> uh, also make sure to enable smooth rotation and max it up to 10. It'll give you much more agility. But if you do get nauseous, I do not recommend setting smooth rotation or even setting it to 10. But you can always learn how to not be nauseous over time. After that, you can exit the menus and head back in game. To use roll, Use the left joystick on your left controller. Well, there's only one. Um, and then you move it to the left or to the right. Or, and then for pitching, you go to the controller that used to turn around, so yaw. And you move it up and down. There, now you know how to roll and pitch. Do flips and... Alright, for the first strategy we got, it's going to be QB while upside down. So this technique's really good to dodge the incoming stack and get an area open for your passes. So you start it upside down, in tunnel. Grab the disc, slap down, and now you're on the swing. You can dodge people easier if they're upright. It's much harder for them to grab you when you're upright. Juke them until you can find a pass, and then pass it to your teammate, who would be most likely in one of the tunnels. Alright, for the next strategy, it's going to be to Use pitch and roll to get a better angle on the goal, clears, and passes. This one's pretty self-explanatory like we mentioned in the beginning. You could be in a tough spot, like here for example. And maybe going upside down might be easier. Sideways, you'd have a way more open goal than if you're here. And then you either slam it into the ground or your wind-up's bad. So if you go sideways, you have all the room for your wind-up. It's also good for mail slots, like I mentioned at the beginning. You can pitch sideways to get a much more open area. 15.7 meters per second. Alright, finally, for the last way I use pitch and roll in my everyday echo life, is I use a technique I like to call rotating to a flat plane. What this, mean, what this means is I'm always going to have a flat plane under me. So if I'm on the wall, I'm going to be sideways. And the 
wall is going to be my floor, for example. Or if I'm on the ceiling, the ceiling is going to be my floor. This can also work for any objects. Slants, like this. Any block. And you can continuously use pitch to move your way around it. This technique is very good for juking, looking for passes and stuff. Much better for people to grab you. This technique is much more risky, but once you learn it properly, you can pay off really well. You can even do it from ceiling to nest. Okay, finally, I love to add a little bit of style to my goals by doing flips. It's much harder to grab somebody who's flipping and moving than somebody who's coming straight at the goal. So it's very helpful to add some flips and style. 16 points. Alright, that is it for this video. A little, little short video, but some people have been asking about how I use pitch and roll to my advantage. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment down below. If you have any other video ideas or questions, I'll try my best to reply to you guys in the comments down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe, comment down below that you subbed and I'll be replying to every single person who does that. We're almost, we're almost to 1,000 subscribers, so if you would like more Echo content, please subscribe. Alright, enough rambling. Have a good day.